What's going on, everybody? My name is Wolf21, and I'm going to show you how to install command book for a bucket server for Minecraft. Uh, first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to bucket.org, B-U-K-K-I-T dot O-R-G, and you're going to go to get plugins on the right-hand side. In the title, you're going to search for... <laughs> they create a tutorial, tutorial for that also. Command book. Let's kick command book version 1.5. General commands. Click on that. It's going to launch the post. So usually now in the title it has the version number of bucket that it can currently run on. And then below gives you all the information about what the plugin can do. And this one has all the general commands, teleportation, messaging, player commands, utilities, and bans. They also said usually they give you complimentary plugins also. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the download, which is right here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to save as. I'm going to save it to my desktop. So here it is. What I'm going to do is, um, I don't have this installed yet, so I'm literally doing this from scratch. So, see what this requires? It requires, let's see, you can customize command book, Java 6, world edit, and bucket build 709 and higher. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click a command book, 7 zip, open archive, or your archiver of choice. You're going to command book.jar. You're going to go into your server, go into plugins. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag commandbook.jar over to the root of the plugins folder within your server and close that. So now commandbook is there. What you're going to do is in your server now is you're going to run your server or if you are already running your server in the in here and the you're going to hit or type in reload. And let's see, we actually got an error message. Could not load plugins command book and folder plugins. Really? Oh, well, this is a good instance. Now, for some reason, um, the plugin didn't load load for command book. So, I am going to see what went wrong. See, it should have followed my own directions. See, it did require Java 6, which we already have because we're running Minecraft on this computer. Need world edit. That was the other thing that caused the problem. So what you got to do is um, you can go back over to the bucket plugins and go search for world edit. It's right here, version 4.4. .4. You click on it. We're going to look for the download. Which is right here. Click on that. There's a download. You're going to download the file, which I already did it right here. You're going to right click it, 7 zip, open archive, and you're going to copy over the craft scripts folder and then the world edit jar. And you copy that over to the plugins folder in your server. Whee! All right. Once that's done and the craft scripts are in there and world edits in there. Now we could re now we can rerun the server. And there, camp man books enabled. Permissions were enabled. And now world edits in there, and permissions plugin is using for, for world edit also. Now we can go. Now we the way we have to do is we have to set up the permissions for for command book. And how to do that is you got to go into the plugins folder in your server, the permissions folder. You're going to have your name.yml for the world. Right click. I'm using Notepad++ because it's easier to see how everything's set up within here. And then the very top part, first part where it has the groups, so it's default, moderator, admins, noobs. That's what I just 
did that there for, <laughs> for now. <laughs> okay, for admins, um, if you're part of the admins group, it's not going to matter because if, if you already have the asterisk in there, then you can pretty much do whatever you want. So we're actually going to go into Minecraft right now. And because command book loaded properly and with no error messages, I think this is 11. Yeah, this is 11. So technically right now what I can do is I can technically do any of the commands that are part of command book. Again, if you go to the website, you'll see all the commands that are right here. So you can give yourself items. You can see who's online, message of the day, play MIDI intro, which I haven't tried yet, set rules, set your spawn, do the time. You can do weather. So what we're going to do is go to Minecraft. We're going to give ourselves an item. So type. And we're going to go I or item. 50 is torches, 64, enter, 64 torches. Or you can do I, torch, J5. Give yourself five torches. So that's how to give yourself items. You can do slash I, the ID, which you can find off the Minecraft wiki, or do you have to memorize them, or the actual name of whatever the item is. Now we're going to disconnect, close out of Minecraft, not make it full screen, close out of Minecraft. <laughs> okay. So now this is where you want to customize your groups. So not everyone has access because you're not going to have everybody in the admin group for, uh, you know, so they can set time and make their own, change the spawn location and make it rain or snow or make it stormy or sunny whenever they want. So. We're going to do is for the noobs group, we're going to go down to permissions. Okay. Gonna make sure we can remember no tabs, there are nothing but spaces. So, so actually, let's do this. We're going to copy this since the, the spacing is correct. We're going to go to the next line, paste. Now for the commands, the permissions for um, c command book, it's command book dot and then whatever you want the person to have access to. So you can do dot item. We're gonna remove this. Enter. Oh. It tapped over too much. So you wanna make sure that this space is correct. Command book. Say MOTD, message of the day. See, gotta make sure the spacing is correct, or else it's gonna—they'll it, definitely screw up. Say we want rules. Then we're gonna do. Let's see. What else, what else do we want in here? A kit might be good. Kit. And what else? Spawn. And we're just actually going to save this. Okay. So we got items, message of the day. Actually, no, we don't want items, don't we? Let's give them message because definitely message. Def definitely don't want people to get you know the noobs to spawn their own items okay so we're going to save this let's actually change my group to noobs and we're going to save it it's called exactly what the name is noobs okay everything's saved go to console reload we're going to go back into Minecraft. We're going to go. We're going to log into the server. We 
right now, let's see what, uh, it's nighttime. So technically if we do slash time day, it shouldn't happen because it, all right, deal up myself time. Okay. Okay, so then make sure that you're not opt. If you're if you're already an admin and you're already opt, then make sure you're you're not opt. So make sure players are not opt, because if you're opt then you're gonna be able to do all the commands anyway. Um so as you can see, I don't have access to time day anymore, but I can go let's see spawn. And I should jump to spawn. <laughs> Awesome. So my spawn was in a different location. And I'm falling. There we go. Yep, kind of in the, the hole right there. Okay, so you get the picture. As long, remember, as long as you're as long as you're not opt, then you'll be okay from you know having everybody have access to ev to everything on you know for the command book itself like setting weather doing all that stuff so we're going to disconnect close it in minecraft so we're going to remember for command book remember the spaces so i think this is just like one, two, this is actually like 12 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten. 12 dash space single quote command book dot and then whatever you want them to have access to so if you want to have access to where am i not compass you probably want to do it's really it probably this is probably the main ones for especially for like say like for a noob uh or like a a basic group if you want them to do if you don't want them to do too too much i said like message message of the day rules kit spawn it's good enough for just normal natural building Now, if you want your, moderator, what they can do is they can inherit noobs, the noobs group, and then for more permissions for your moderators, they can do command dot ban. Enter, back out. I said, always gotta make sure that your spacing is correct or it's it's gonna screw up. Ban, kick. And then I think there's only one other one. And unban. Actually, no, you probably don't want that because you probably as an admin want it to not do the unban part of it. Okay, so like, so for moderators, they're gonna inherit whatever's in the noobs group. So they're gonna inherit all of these permissions, plus they're gonna have these extra, command, extra commands or permissions. And this is pretty much the same thing that goes for any other, other plugins. You got, you have to look for whatever the see if you go like let's see list of permissions see on the right hand side for this particular plugin it gives you all the commands that you can do so you can see what you know what what they can do like say the command book weather command book spawn command book message command book where am i so you can see what exactly you can you can do for all the plugins for specifically for command books so you can get down really to the nitty gritty as far as like what access you want for certain people for certain people to have so just a reminder again for installing command book that you need world edit 
in order for the plugin to happen properly, as you saw in the, as you saw previous previously in this video of the error message that you can get with when something's not when it's you know required to install and it wasn't installed yet. And that's command book. I said you can give yourself items, you can TP yourself to other players, you can set your set your spawn, change the time, weather, thunder, spawn mobs, create kits. This I said this definitely goes more in depth as far as like uh, I haven't tried the uh, the MIDI support yet, but you can look through this page and see how that's set up. Again, my name is Wolf21, and this has helped you out. Make sure you click subscribe, leave a like, thumbs this up, share it to your friends favorite it if this has helped you out and always remember to rock on.